Welcome to AZ Superbox. In this video, we're excited to present the top 5 best industrial toolless RJ45 connectors. If you're in need of reliable and efficient connectivity solutions for your industrial applications, these connectors are perfect for you. Industrial toolless RJ45 connectors provide a convenient and time-saving solution for creating secure Ethernet connections in industrial environments. They eliminate the need for special tools making installation and maintenance quick and hassle-free. We've carefully selected these connectors based on their performance, durability, ease of use, and overall reputation in the industry. Each connector on our list is designed to meet the demands of industrial settings, ensuring reliable and stable connections in harsh conditions. These connectors feature a toolless design, allowing for easy termination of Ethernet cables without the need for crimping tools or soldering. They provide a secure and robust connection, ensuring uninterrupted data transmission in industrial environments where vibration, moisture, and dust may be present. We've considered factors such as compatibility, shielding capabilities, and overall build quality to ensure that these connectors meet the highest standards for industrial applications. They are engineered to withstand challenging conditions and offer reliable performance for your networking needs. For detailed information about the top 5 best industrial toolless RJ45 connectors we discuss, check the descriptions below this video. You'll find links to these connectors, where you can find pricing and further details. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to press that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable tech reviews and recommendations. RJ45 Industrial Connectors for Assembly from Phoenix Contact. Assemble the fast connector for Ethernet and Profinet quickly and easily, thanks to the one-piece design. Following functional testing, seal the plug with the strain relief and protect it against tampering. Stainless steel pressure springs ensure a secure hold and prevent contact interruptions in the event of vibrations. Beyond the control cabinet, the push-pull housing with IP67 protection ensures secure connections. With the built-in interlocking, unintentional removal of the plug is avoided. RJ45 Industrial Connectors for Assembly from Phoenix Contact. Insert the strain relief boot. Strip the jacket. Peel off the shielded braiding and wrap the cooper foil. Cut off the excess the shielded braiding wires. Straighten out the wires. Put the wires into wire groove according to the T568B or T568A wire sequence. Cut the excess wires off. Align the slots.
cover the wire cap. Shut the outer housing. Tighten up the strain relief boot. Use cable tester to test signal. Signal shows good. Complete. TE Industrial expands its field installable RJ45 Common Core family with the CAT 6A 10 gigabit per second variant. The innovative one piece Common Core with the integrated wire cutoff and contacting technology in the IP20 housing allows an efficient installation without special tools. Strip about 60 millimeter of the outer jacket of the Ethernet cable, keeping 5 millimeter of the braid intact. Straighten the wires and insert them into the cable manager according to the color coding. All commonly used Ethernet cables, with wire sizes ranging from AWG26 to AWG22, stranded and solid, have been tested and approved. The RJ45 CAT 6A plug is the first product with integrated wire cutoff and contacting technology, always leading to an error-free cable termination with 10 gigabit performance. Slide the IP20 housing onto the plug, pushing down slightly on the locking spring in order to engage the plug. Tighten the cable screw joint for the proper cable retention. Error-free installation can be done within a minute. Three easy steps for an optimal CAT 6A industrial connection. Prepare the cable and insert the wires, close covers, cut off and connect wires, and you're done. Please contact your local TE representative for free samples to see the advantages firsthand. Today we are going to talk about how to properly crimp these plugs. First, let's put the screw type boot into the wire. The black end goes in first. We will strip the cable jacket about 30 millimeters. We are going to twist the shield and wrap it around the cable jacket. We will use the copper foil tape provided to wrap around the shield. Then, we will remove the foil from each one of these pairs we have to determine which wire scheme we are going to crimp. It is either 568A or 568B. Find the pair diagonal from the brown pair. This pair will be at pin 1 and 2. Here, the pair diagonal to the brown pair is orange in color. This is a 568B wire arrangement. The next step is untwisting and straightening the wires so they are easier to insert into the cable loader. We will arrange green and orange at the top and the blue and brown pairs at the bottom. We simply cut the extra wires which are sticking out of the loader edge. Flip the cable and plug it to the side so the indents can be seen easily. Apply a little force to press these two parts and then close the top portion by flipping it down. The next step can be done with any pressing tool to easily complete the job, or without a tool at all if the wires you're using are thinner. Lastly, if you ever make a mistake, don't worry. 
Remember this plug is reusable. You can simply unscrew the boots, open the plugs, and redo it again. Today we're going to be talking about Lutz's RJ45 Industrial Ethernet Connectors. These are a field wireable connector solution that are fully metallic and shielded and are very easy and fast to install in the field. I brought some of Lutz's Ethernet cable with me today. This is a Lutz MotionFlex Cat5e cable and we're going to go through the steps of installing this connector on an Ethernet cable. These connectors are rated to Cat6a speeds so they can be used with any cable from Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat6a. The first step in attaching our connector is to prepare the cable. I've brought one of Lutz's Ethernet cables with me here. First step is going to be to strip the cable jacket and you'll see how we prepare the cable to go into the connector. One thing before we start, always make sure that you don't cut too deep into that jacket or else you'll damage the shield underneath. That's why I always recommend a cutting tool that has an adjustable blade depth. Now that we have our cable prepared, we're ready to install our connector. Uh, now the first step is to install our clamping ring. And you can do this before or after you strip the jacket. But it's two pieces. We have this nut and we have this strain relief. So we want to take these and just slide them all onto the cable. Now that we have that in place, we can deal with the conductors. Lutza field wireable connectors use something called insulation displacement contacts. So inside of this housing, there are actually very small um, blades that will cut through the conductor insulation and make a nice electrical contact with the copper. Uh, that saves you the trouble of having to use any crimping tools to make that termination. It also means that we can pass these conductors all the way through the connector and not worry about how much excess is left. Uh, so these are color-coded connectors, very easy to match the color of the conductor with the color on the connector housing here, and we're just going to do that now. So we just simply match each conductor with the corresponding color on the connector and you'll see those conductors are going all the way through the connector housing. Do the same thing on the back side. And now all we have to do is slide this part of the connector all the way down against our cable jacket. We want to make sure that connector is nice and tight against the cable to eliminate as much of this unshielded area as we can. Now that we have that nice and tight, it's time to engage those contacts that we talked about. And all you need to do this is a pair of channel locks or something else that applies parallel clamping force. So we want something that's going to put pressure on either side of that connector, and we simply clamp straight down. Make a nice firm connection, and you see that also loosens up this protective plastic housing. Next step is to get rid of all this extra conductor that we have here. So just take a sharp pair of scissors or a pair of snips, and we can cut that right away. Now we're ready to remove that plastic housing and install the connector. That comes right off and can be discarded. And we have this circuit board. That's what's going to actually make the connections within our connector. Now you'll notice I have a little gap here on my insulation displacement contact. 
So I'm just going to give that one more quick squeeze with parallel pressure and we're ready to install. Now this housing is going to make both the electrical contact for the conductors and terminate the shield at the same time. The connector and the housing are both keyed, so all we have to do is line up those keyed edges and install appropriately. This also means that you can't install that connector incorrectly. It's always going to go in the proper way and make the right contacts internally. So we give that a nice push. Uh, if you have a tool that you can use to push that in, that can be helpful as well. But we want to make sure we get a nice tight connection in there. So now we have our connector. We have our shield here that we need to terminate using this integrated shield clamp. And so we're just going to close up our housing, install our strain relief that we put on the cable earlier, and then tighten down that nut. With that done, we've made a safe, secure, and rugged connection between our connector and our Category 5 Ethernet cable. All that's left to do is remove that protective plastic housing, and there's that RJ45 jack that you're so used to seeing.